Hi, in this video I'll show you how to split multiple CSV or comma separated values or line break values from one cell to multiple columns or rows. So what does this mean? Let's say for example we have a CSV file or, or a table that has one column and the serial numbers are separated by commas. That's what a CSV is, comma separated values. Right? There's a comma there and there's a comma there. Or Instead, we have the serial numbers here that are separated by a line break or a page break. Now, what we want to do is we want to have something where we have all these serial numbers separated out in its own column. See, for example, we have nine serial numbers and they're all separated here into nine columns. And this one's got 11 serial numbers here and these 11 are separated in their own column. Well, that's one way we can do it. And another way that we want to have the output maybe is we want to have our CSV values or our CSVs or our line break values separated out into its own column and, and row in a way. So we have everything here. Let's just say we have our item, which is GB-INV. All the serial numbers, all nine of them, have their own row, right? And for the ACINV item, all 11 of them have their own row. And the same here for the two at the bottom and the one at there. So this is another way that we want to have it done. This is actually a more proper table format where we can do additional slicing and dicing. So I'll show you how to do this with two different ways. So here we are in Excel. And I'll show you the first way where we just want to spread it out into columns. And this is actually fairly easy to do by using the text to columns feature. We have our column C selected, which have our comma separated values. I'll go under data, go under text to columns, and it's going to ask me what I want to do it delimited or fixed width. I'm going to do it delimited, click next, and I have those delimiters as commas. So you can see here as I selected that, it's separated out there. So let me go to next, and this is just the step three. In reality, we can just click finish in step two, but this is how I kind of like to go through and Maybe if we had some formatting we want to do, we can do that. I'll click Finish, and now you can see that it has spread it out. So we have these nine serial numbers spread out, right? The count of nine here. And these 11 spread out, right? So now if we spread them out, we can put our, our headers up here for the serial numbers. Now we showed another example where we didn't have commas, and we had these line breaks. Now if we went back and did that, let me go to Data, text the columns, and separate it out, you would see that there's no option for line breaks, except this other. And other is what we would select. Now, the keyboard to select this line break is Control J. And once I click Control J, you'll notice that it's put some kind of um, character in here. You can see the blinking dot here, and it's actually found out what to separate it as. So that Control J, is basically your keyboard shortcut to look for the line breaks. If I click Finish, you notice the same things happen here now. I have my separation of my nine serial numbers here, my 11 here, and my two here, right? So that makes it easy. So that's the first example where we wanted to put it into its own separate column. What about the second example where we wanted to have it in its own row? That is going to be a little bit more involved and it's going to use something called Power Query. So now I have my example where I have my serial numbers. These are my CSV serial numbers and I'm going to use Power Query to do this. I'll select anywhere within this range and Power Query is something that is available in Excel 2016 natively, but if you had previous versions of Excel, you would have to download it and enable it. Now with this, all I need to do is go under data, go to get and transform, and do new query or from table actually. It's probably better from table because we're gonna assume this is gonna be our table and once we click on this, it's gonna go through the process of creating uh, this range of data and putting it into a table format first. All right, it's gonna create the table, it's gonna ask me what my headers are, which are my top um, rows here, which are the fields. I'm gonna click okay it's going to come up with another window and this is the query editor and you can see it showed up the same format right instead of it kind of put it out here where we still have our comma separated values 
And what I need to do here is do something similar to what I did with text to columns. And I'm going to have these separate out into different columns with the commas. What I'm going to do is under home, go to split column. So it's going to split it up by delimiter. And that delimiter is, of course, going to be our comma. So as this other window comes up, it's going to say comma, and I want to have it at each occurrence and click OK. So what's going to happen is it's going to spread it out now. So this is similar to the first example where it's spread out to its own separate column. But I want these all in its own row. So I'm going to use something called the unpivot feature. I can go under transform and use the unpivot columns command. Right. So this is going to unpivot the column and basically it's going to transpose these columns. What I can do is I can select this column all the way up to the 11th column because I because the maximum amount of serial numbers I have here is 11. But what I'm going to do instead is unpivot other columns. So you can do unpivot columns or unpivot other columns. So what I want to do is I want to select the columns that I don't want to unpivot. Select this one and hold my down my control or shift and select that one and unpivot the other columns, right? I'm going to unpivot the other columns. And it's going to transpose them and put them under the its own separate column and row, right? So I have my nine here, which is these nine. I have my 11, which are those 11, and the two and the one. And I really don't need this anymore. So I'm going to right click and remove. And maybe I don't need my quantity anymore because I already know I have nine. Right click and remove. Or I can just select both of them and remove and just type this, double click that, and just type serial number. And let me see, click home, close and load. And I'll just select this close and load because I just wanted to load into its own worksheet. And it's going to load it into a new worksheet. And I have my serial numbers all laid out in its own separate row. Now that was with CSV values or CSVs. What if I had my serial numbers that were separated by line breaks? No problem. I can do the same here. Select in here, go to data from table. It's going to want to create a table. Click OK. And as the query editor comes up, I'm going to do the same thing. Select my serial number column, go split column by and delimiter. And Power Query is actually pretty smart. So it's going to find that it's going to sense that there is a line break here. And it's going to use this particular a combination of symbols, or, or this is the code, the pound sign and the LF enclosed in parentheses. This is the uh, code for the line break. I'm going to say, I'm going to keep that, and I want H occurrence, and I want to split it, and it's found that it can, it can split into the maximum of 11 rows. And it's a split using the special characters. And of course, it's determined that the special character is that line fee. I think that's the LF, that's what it's talking about. I'm going to click OK, and you can see it's done the same thing now. It's spread it out. And all I need to do is select these two. Actually, since I selected these two earlier, I'll select, I'll show you the other example where if I selected all of this and unpivot these columns, it would work out the same. You'd get the same output, but I'm just doing it a different way. So I would just press the Shift key, scroll all the way to the end, select that one. So they're all selected, and go under Transform, Unpivot. And I'm going to unpivot these columns instead of the other columns, right? So I'm going to unpivot these columns and I'm going to get the same output. I don't need these two. Select that. Press Shift. Select that. Right click and remove columns. And I'll call this one. Double click here. Serial numbers. And press Enter. Go click on Home. Close and load. And I'm going to get the same output I had earlier. So this is sheet two here. And these. It, this is the output that I get with those values that were separated by line feeds or page breaks or paragraph breaks. So I'll show you two examples, right? One where we had the CSVs or the line breaks and we had them out by columns. And the next one where we had the same thing with either the CSVs or the line breaks and we put them all in their own separate rows. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.